Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be using our handy laser to repair the rear glass on an iPhone XS Max. What is up guys? I am Javier with MrPhoneDoctor.com. If this is your first time here, please make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and smack the bell so you're notified on our latest videos. And if you guys can, check us out on Instagram and our other social media platforms found below. We're actually going to be creating some really cool behind the scenes uh, footage with some really cool music, so make sure you guys check that out. Alright, so now that we got that all out of the way, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working on this iPhone XS Max. Now we have the special fiber optic laser that handles this task for us. It is a pretty tedious task without the laser, so we really enjoy using this laser technology to uh, expedite the repair on this and give us a more flawless finish. So let's step back into the lab and let's get this sucker dissected. Alright, so I'm pretty excited about this video. We actually get to test out our little filtration system that we installed. Okay, so once we lay the phone onto the table, we're going to want to go ahead and mark it with the laser, make sure that the cuts and everything's going to be precise. Now that we're ready, we can go ahead and begin the laser and have it start cutting the back glass. All right, so we have completed the first pass. We're ready to go ahead and remove all this broken glass. Alright, so this was our first step, was removing all the broken glass. Now that we have that removed, we can go ahead and uh, put this in the laser machine again one more time so we can remove all the uh, epoxy that's on here. All this black stuff needs to come off. All right, so we have finished the last pass on this iPhone XS Max. We're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, just clear out all the glue on the edges and all this here that had snake peeled off. You can see all this. See all this will come off very easily. Just gotta get all the detail work on the corners so we get a nice perfectly sit rear glass. so we have all the glue cleaned off I'm gonna just go ahead and set the replacement over it make sure we get a nice clean smooth finish and nothing's obstructing the glass feels a little rigidy up on here so I'm gonna take a look and see but everywhere else it seems fine just up here on the top right it seems a little off so I'm gonna go in there and give it a little more cleaning there's probably something blocking the glass All right, so there, now we have a beautiful finish. Everything's sealed up perfectly, so there was a little bit of debris in here from letting it sit down, but we have it sitting beautiful. All right, we can go ahead and finish up and apply the glue and clamp down this glass. Make 
make sure everything snaps in perfect, which in this case it is. Then we can go ahead and put it inside our little clamp. Handy dandy little clamp. We got a lot of handy dandy tools here. All right, let it sit for about 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes passes, it'll be ready for use. All right, guys, time has passed. Let's go ahead and open this up and do the final reveal. All right. There we have her. It's good as new. Just want to get any little excess glue that may have rolled over cleaned off. And examine, make sure everything is sticking properly because the glue is still soft. So, I just the last thing I want is for it to uh, start lifting on us. But it looks good. I'm going to give it a wipe and I'm going to set it back in here. But that pretty much wraps up our video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, thank you all for taking the time out of your day and checking this out. We appreciate you guys, and we appreciate uh, your guys' subscription. If you guys like what you see, subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Check it out. She's ready. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful.